Turkish Angora Cat vs Ragdoll Cat What are the differences between these two cat breeds? The Turkish Angora is best known for its long, fine, silky coat which seems to shimmer as it moves. The length of the coat varies, with the longest hair usually seen in the ruff around the neck, the breeches on the upper hind legs, and the plume tail. You may think of an Angora as being solid white, but the coat can also be other solid colors as well as tabby, tortoiseshell, calico, or other patterns. Beneath the coat is a body that is firm, long, and muscular. Legs are long, with the hind legs being longer than the front legs, and the paws are small, round, and dainty, often with tufts of fur between the toes. The long tail tapers from a wide base to a narrow end. Contributing to the cat's beauty is a small to medium-sized wedge-shaped head with large ears that sit high on the head and are tufted with fur and large almond-shaped eyes that slant slightly upward. The eyes can be blue, green, gold, amber, or odd. Ragdolls stand out for their large size, semi-long coat in a pointed pattern, and sparkling blue eyes. They are among the largest of the domesticated cats, with some males weighing at 20 pounds or more. A ragdoll has a light-colored body with a darker face, legs, tail, and ears. He comes in three patterns, midded and bicolor, both of which have white and color point, which has no white. Ragdolls don't reach their full size and coat development until they are three to four years old. The Cat Fanciers Association Breed Standard says the ragdoll should have a large, broad head in a modified wedge shape. All sides of the head should be of equal length and the muzzle should be gently rounded. The eyes are described as vivid blue ovals. medium size ears have rounded tips and tilt forward. Supporting the head is a heavy, strong neck, which segues into a large and long body that is broad, solid, and heavy boned. The heavy boned legs are moderately long, with the hind legs longer than the front legs. Large round paws are tufted with fur, and the long tail looks like a waving plume. The ragdoll has a silky coat that is moderately long. It's short on the face, blossoms into a ruff around the neck, shortens again on the shoulder blades, then lengthens toward the tail, which is fully feathered with fur. Beautiful and elegant on the surface, the Turkish Angora can surprise an unsuspecting owner with his athleticism and intelligence. No bookcase is too high for him to reach the top, and no closed door is safe from being opened by his questing paws. While he certainly can have lovely manners, Turkey, as he is sometimes nicknamed, has an active, boisterous side to his nature, with a cleverness that makes him endlessly entertaining. He likes to play and will do whatever is necessary to get and keep your attention, even if it means getting into a little trouble. The Angora keeps his kitten-like playfulness well into old age. He is friendly toward guests but loves his own people best. This is a sociable breed that is best suited to a home where he will have another cat or a dog to keep him company if people aren't home during the day. When you are home, the Angora may drape himself across your shoulders or settle comfortably into your lap. At night you're likely to find him next to you with his head resting on your pillow. To live happily with a turkey, you should have a sense of humor that matches his own, as well as a good store of patience. Once he gets an idea into his head, it can be difficult to change his mind about how he should behave, but he is so charming that you probably won't care. If you will, it's best to consider another breed. This is an affectionate, gentle cat who is devoted to his family. but his precocious intelligence, resourcefulness, desire for interaction and play, and short attention span may make him a challenge to live with. Ragdolls are notable for collapsing into the arms of anyone who holds them, even if they are cradled on their back. They love their people, greeting them at the door, following them around the house, and leaping into a lap or snuggling in bed whenever given the chance. The word most often used to describe them is docile, but that doesn't mean they are inactive. They like to play with toys and enter into any family activities. With positive reinforcement in the form of praise and food rewards when they do something you like, ragdolls learn quickly and can pick up tricks as well as good behaviors such as using a scratching post. In a small, sweet voice, they remind you of mealtime or ask for petting but are not excessively vocal. Ragdolls have nice manners and are easy to live with. You will find a ragdoll on your sofa or bed, but generally not much higher than that. He prefers to stay on the same level with his people rather than the highest point in a room. Hello. This video is sponsored by Bemix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bemixpets.com. Use coupon code kittenlife to get 20% off. The Turkish Angora has a single coat with a silky texture. Because there's no undercoat to cause mats or tangles, it's easy to groom with weekly combing or brushing, and it sheds very little. The coat doesn't achieve its full length until the cat is approximately 2 years old. A ragdoll's moderately long fur has a little undercoat, which means it is less likely to mat and shed, but that doesn't mean the cats need no grooming. 
Comb it twice a week with a stainless steel comb to remove dead hair that can cause tangles. Be sure to comb the fur on the legs thoroughly, especially where the leg meets the body, where mats are most likely to occur. A rubber curry brush will smooth the fur after you comb it and remove any remaining loose hairs. If you are gentle and don't pull their hair, rag dolls will love the attention they receive from you during grooming time. Note that seasonal changes, as well as hormonal fluctuations in unaltered cats, can affect the length of the coat. The coat will be at its peak in winter. Rag dolls that have been spayed or neutered will usually have a lush coat year-round because they lack the hormonal fluctuations that occur in unaltered cats. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Trim the nails every couple of weeks. Wipe the corners of the eyes with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. Use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. Check the ears weekly. If they look dirty, wipe them out with a cotton ball or soft damp cloth moistened with a 50-50 to -50 mixture of cider vinegar and warm water. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. Keep their litter box spotlessly clean. Cats are very particular about bathroom hygiene, and a clean litter box will also help to keep the long coat clean. It's a good idea to keep a Turkish Angora and Ragdoll as an indoor-only cat to protect them from diseases spread by other cats, attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. Turkish Angoras and Ragdolls who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such a beautiful cat without paying for it. The Angora who has been well socialized is comfortable with kids, making him a good choice for families who will supervise children to make sure they pet the cat nicely and don't pull his fur or tail. He is happy to live with cat-friendly dogs, too, as long as they recognize that he's in charge. The laid-back ragdoll is perfectly suited to family life. He rarely extends his claws when playing, and he usually doesn't mind playing dress-up, riding in a baby buggy, or being a guest at a tea party. Because of their large size, males are an especially good choice for families with children. You should always supervise young children to make sure they don't torment the cat. And with a cat this size, it's essential to teach children how to support the cat, with one arm beneath the front legs and one beneath the hind legs. Never hold a ragdoll with the hind end hanging down. He is happy to live with other cats and cat-friendly dogs, too, thanks to his amiable disposition. Introduce pets slowly and in controlled circumstances to ensure that they learn to get along together. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.